Well, praise the name of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord, and welcome to Empowering Word Christian Center. Welcome, 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 praise God, and welcome to Empowering Word Christian Center. I am Pastor Alvin White, Senior Pastor of Empowering Word Christian Center and Transition Prophet. It is Friday morning prayer and prophetic service. We welcome you in the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. It is Friday, November 22nd, 2024. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and let's glorify God. 
Come on in and put your prayer requests on the timeline. I promise you we will get to it. Even if we don't get to it live, we will get to it later as we go through these prayer requests, as we go through all the comments, and we pray. Glory be to God. So put your prayer requests on the timeline. Also, love and share this. Send this out. Let somebody know who you are. Let somebody know that we are praying. Text somebody. Inbox somebody. Let somebody know. Tag somebody in this right now. Glory be to God. Why don't you tag somebody in it right now. Let somebody know that we are praying. Hallelujah. It's Friday morning prayer and prophetic service. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? It's Friday morning prayer and prophetic service. And I'm telling you, I'm ready to pray. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's Friday morning prayer and prophetic service. Oh, glory be to God. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We want to welcome everybody that's watching around the world. We welcome everybody that's watching around the globe. All of our friends and partners of EWCC around the nation, the states. We welcome you in the name of the Lord. We praise God for you. Those far, those near, we welcome you in the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Are you ready to pray? Hallelujah. This is what the Word of God says. It says this, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, in conclusion, after we have examined this, now we know that if anyone is in Christ, he or she is a new creation. Oh, if you have the ability right now, just thank God for being a new creation. If you're born again today, just thank God for being a new creation. In fact, put on the chat, I am a new creation. Put in the chat, I am a new creation. Go ahead, put that in the chat. I am a new creation. If you believe that. If you know in your heart you belong to God, if you know in your heart you're born again, if you believe this, put in the chat, I am a new creation. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, that you have made us new. You have made us new even this morning. Your word says that your mercies are new each morning. You have made us brand new because we are in Christ. We are in Christ. Woo! We are in Christ. Listen, glory to God. If, watch this now, watch this. Thank you, Jesus. If somebody was chasing somebody and the person being chased ran into a building. Oh, 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 this is good. This is a good analogy. This will work. If you were overseas and you were being chased by somebody in that country and you ran into the U.S. Embassy, let's pretend that you are an American, but if you're watching from another country, let's pretend that you are whatever that country's embassy is based on where you are. You ran into that embassy. You are now protected because you are inside the embassy. Are you hearing me today? 
If you are outside the embassy, they can get you. But if you're inside the embassy, they can't touch you. Because they would have to get into the embassy. They would have to go through the embassy to get to you because you're on the inside. I'm trying to get you to understand that if you are in Christ, you are inside of Christ, you are in Him. Glory be to God, the enemy can't get you because you are in Christ. Hallelujah. He surrounds you. This is why it says in Psalm 91, verse 1, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We have to be in Christ. Not part-time, not on Sunday mornings. Glory be to God. We have to live a life that's in Christ. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. Which means that old things, everything that's old is now passed away. Just like we would say, so and so passed away. In other words, old things are dead. Old things have deceit. Behold, all things have become new. All things. Every single thing in your life, I declare right now, newness. I declare of your life right now, the manifestation of newness. In the name of Jesus, I declare right now, the manifestation of newness. Lord God, right now, in the name of Jesus, new health. Organs, Lord God, new blood, new properties of your blood, new bone, new properties of your bone, in the name of Jesus, new internal organs, new properties of those internal organs. I declare right now, new financial situation. I declare right now, new financial situation. A healthy financial situation. The blessing of the Lord manifested in your life. I declare brand new, new relationships in the name of Jesus. I declare right now new opportunities in the name of Jesus. I declare right now new open doors. I declare right now new vision from the Lord. New. It is new to you, but it's already been there. The Lord has already established, but it's brand new because this is the first time you'll see it. It's new to you because it's the first time it's revealed. It's the first time you got a chance to see it. It's the first time you got a chance to hear it. I declare newness, 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 a new mindset, a new mindset in the name of Jesus, a new direction of your heart in the name of Jesus. Old things are passed away. The old strongholds, the old mindsets, the old way of doing it, old religion. I declare right now, new, new in the name of Jesus. That you receive the Lord Jesus Christ anew. That you receive the Holy Spirit anew. That you see the Word of God like you've never seen it before. And you receive the Word of God anew in the name of Jesus I declare old things dead. Generational curses dead. Old things from the past dead. Old concepts and ideas from the past that don't line up to God's word dead in your life in the name of Jesus. Old words and curses spoken over your life dead. Old words and curses spoken over your life dead. Old words and curses you spoken over your life dead. Old words and curses that you spoke years ago that are still trying to take effect in your life, I declare dead in the name of Jesus. I declare new in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He said, behold, all things become new. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord God, for even new houses and new possessions and new cars. Thank you, Lord God, for even new possessions. Thank you for new 
uh, buildings. Glory be to God. Thank you for new uh, 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 opportunities financially. Thank you for new souls saved. Yeah. Thank you for new souls saved. New souls saved. New witnessing. New witnessing like we've never done before in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is that God was in Christ receiving the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. Oh yeah, type in there, I am an ambassador for Christ. Type in the chat, I am an ambassador for Christ. Type in the chat, I am an ambassador for Christ. Now declare it out of your mouth. I am an ambassador for Christ. Type in the chat, I am an ambassador for Christ. Declare it out of your mouth, I am an ambassador for Christ. Glory be to God. What does that mean? It means you don't work for yourself. You don't live for yourself. It means that you work for Him. You live for Him. Everything is for Him. You are coming on His name. You are coming in His name. You are coming in His name. And in His glory and in His power. You are coming in His authority. Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glory be to God. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Okay? Be reconciled. Be reconciled to God. For he, God, made him Jesus who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him Christ. Oh, just thank him for that. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord God, that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Oh, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You did it, Lord God. It's because of you. You made us righteous. We become the righteous. We become. We, we, we become. We become. We weren't before, and then we became the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And we are so grateful for that. We are so grateful for that. We are so thankful for that. Shiti Amarasiti. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are so grateful and thankful for that. Mm hmm Type in the chat, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Uh-huh. Type that in the chat. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Type that in the chat. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Type that in the chat. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Declare that over your life. I am, I am 
the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Now make sure you understand what you are saying. You're not saying you are going to become the righteousness Amen. of God. You are not saying that you are becoming the righteousness. You are saying that you are right now Amen. the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. I am. I am. The righteousness. The righteousness of God. Of God in Christ Jesus. Christ. Now. Why is that so important? Well, let's read a story here. Let's read a story. Glory be to God. This this right here is very, very powerful. This is powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say that again. I am am. the righteousness righteousness of of God. In Christ Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I need you to get that in your heart. I need you to meditate on that. Because that will give you power over the lies of the enemy. Say that again. I am, I am the, righteousness the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Meditate on 2 Corinthians 5.21. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Now, why, why is that powerful? Again, it goes back to you being in Christ. Why is that powerful? Go to Matthew, Gospel chapter 9. Matthew's Gospel chapter 9. He says, So he, Jesus, got into a boat, crossed over, and came into his own city. Then behold, they brought to him a paralytic, lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, be of good cheer. Your sins are forgiven you. Now, I need you to, I need you to understand something. I need you to say something. Did the paralytic even say, Lord, forgive me of my sin? Does it say he said that right there? Why? Because in this case, it's possible that the paralytic couldn't even speak. Right. It's possible this man, he couldn't even speak. It's probable, it's most likely that he could not even speak. Yeah. Have you ever seen somebody that's a, uh, you know, quadriplegic? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, So, he saw their faith. For them to even bring this man to Jesus meant in their hearts 
this man can take care of this. This man can do the impossible. Because it says when he saw their faith, the people bringing it, you got to hang around people of faith. Hear the word of the Lord. Anybody that's not a person of faith, anybody that's not a person of faith, change your relationship with them. You yes. are to be ministering to them and getting them into the kingdom yeah. or getting them from a place of backslidden, yeah. getting them from a place of, of, of not being close to the Lord. Don't hang out with people that don't have faith, yeah. are not walking this walk of faith. Your life, your life, your destiny is too important to be hanging around Folks that are not of precious like faith. You riding in the car with them, singing songs with them, hanging out with them, Bessie's with them, and they not even trying to live this life of faith. And you, 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 you trying to live the life of faith sometimes, and you know that's where your heart is leading you and the Holy Spirit is leading you. But you got these friends and you got these crew, you got this bestie, you got this ride or die, and they not doing it. The Lord says they're going to drag you down. Yes. And you'll never be who God called you to be. And then you won't even make the connection of why the curse is trying to work in your life. Yeah, that's so true. Hear the word of the Lord. You won't even make the connection yeah. why the curse is trying to beat down your door. That's so true. That is true. It's because can two walk together unless they agree? That's found in Amos. Yes, that is so true. Yeah. You got to have a standard that I only fellowship with people of like faith. Yeah. Well, how am I supposed to how am I supposed to be around them to minister to them? Get around them and minister to them. Don't hang out with them. Say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm praying for you. And, and let me tell you, man, my relationship with the Lord is just, I spent some time with God and he's just really doing some things in my heart. Every time you get around him, man, I just spent some time with the Lord. He's doing some things in my heart and he's just changing me. And I just thank God that he's changing me. How, how is, what is God doing in your life? Tell me. Yeah. See? Yeah. You know, people have to decide. You have to decide mm. the kind of relationship with God that you want to have. Mm. And you have to be in reality when it when it comes to the type of relationship with God that you want to have. Mm -hmm. Don't have like this disconnect where you think you want to have this high level, high anointing, this high amount of influence in the kingdom of God, but mm -hmm. your friendships Mm. are not with people of like precious faith. They don't compliment mm. where you think you want to go. Right. And so like Pastor said, you'll be confused with why you're having these demonic thoughts and the curse is trying to beat down your door and come mm. in your home and you're striping your home. You're struggling with taking your thoughts captive. Right. So you got to be mindful of the friendships around you that influence you negatively, mm -hmm. and then you don't say anything. You don't you don't stand up for righteousness. Mm -hmm. You allow immoral conversations to go on around mm -hmm. you, and mm -hmm. you don't have the impact and the influence of the kingdom of God that you should, because mm -hmm. the word says that the kingdom of God is inside of us. Yes. So if the kingdom of God is truly inside of us, mm. everywhere we go, we take the kingdom. So there should be something oh in you that impacts the environment. Mm. And, it, it, and if that is dimmed around your friendships, you need to evaluate. Otherwise, you'll never, ever, ever, ever become who God has called you to be. You'll always be struggling. You'll always be struggling with foundational principles in your life. And, and I even hear, it even comes to music. Mm -hmm. That's what I hear. You need to be careful with the music that mm -hmm. you're listening to. Mm -hmm. Music is mood changer. Mm -hmm. And it will take you to the place where it came from. Mm -hmm. It will take you, music will take you to the intended place where it came from. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
We often hear that scripture, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. And we always think of singles. Yeah. This is everybody. It is. This is everybody. You can't. There's a difference between associating with somebody because you want to influence them. You want to let God use you to call them out of darkness into his marvelous light versus now they're influencing you and you are coming down from a standard. You, you got to do that. That's so true. Because you need people that can be in your corner. That's got some faith. Yes, Lord. A boxer doesn't want yes, Lord. negative folk that can't really help them in their corner. They want somebody that when they fighting and they That's say, true. okay, let me go back to my corner. These people are pumping them up with faith. That's the truth. When he saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, woo! stop right there. Jesus has already adopted this man now. He, he's, he's in there. Son, be of good cheer. Your sins are forgiven you. Now we're talking about us being the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Which means that we are forgiven. And at once, some of the scribes within themselves, this man blasphemes because it is blasphemous for a man to say, I forgive your sins. That's one of the blasphemes. But Jesus can do that because he's God. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, see the supernatural working, said, why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, arise and walk. Now that right there, you get that revelation. <laughs> he says, but that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, that he said to the par paralytic, arise, take up your bed and go to your house. And he arose and departed to his house. Now when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God who had given such power to men. Watch this. He said, which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven you or arise and walk? Which is easier? They both require you to open your mouth and say something. They both require for your vocal functionality to be manifested in the process. They both require something of you. Which one do you want me to say? In other words, what he is saying, here's what he's saying. If your sins are forgiven you, healing belongs to you. Did you get it? If a person has been forgiven of sins, healing is theirs. So this is what we're going to do. Lay hands on your body. If you can, if you can do this, lay hands on your body and put one hand up. If you can do it, put one hand up, lay one hand on your body. If you can't do it right now, do it later on. Keep it in your mind. Do it later on. And say this, Lord, I thank you for forgiving me of all my sin. I am the righteousness of of God in Christ Jesus. And now that I have been forgiven, I receive healing. I receive healing because I'm forgiven. They are one and the same. They are one and the same. 
and I receive them both as one and the same. I receive them both as one and the same. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I declare healing over every single person at the sound of my voice. All sickness, disease, and infirmity has to go. Generational curses have to go. Have to be broken. Spirits of infirmity have to go. Health and healing over God's people right now. Health and healing. Yes, 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 yes. Have to go. See, you got to remember, sometimes when we see the cross, we think of, you know, oh, he bled for our sins. Listen, it says, he was crushed for our iniquities. He was bruised for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. And by his stripes, we are healed. See? Mm, mm, mm. Go to Ephesians. Let's do this quickly. Go to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith, which will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Say this with me. I'm strong in the Lord. I'm strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. And in the power of his might. I'm mind. strong in the Lord. I'm strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. And in the power of his might. I'm strong in my mind. I'm strong in my mind. Concerning God's word. Concerning God's word. And I operate. And I operate. In his supernatural. In his supernatural. Capability. Capability. I'm not conformed to this world. I'm not conformed to this world. But I'm transformed. But I'm transformed. By the renewing of my mind. By the renewing of my mind. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to Empowering Word Christian Center. I'm Pastor Alvin White. And I'm Pastor Latoya. And we welcome you in the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God. Now, why don't you love and share this? Why don't you love and share this right now? Send this out. Love and share it. Love it. Share it. We see you, Minister Elijah Braddox, Prophetess Alyssa Braddox. We see you, Prophetess Erica Tucker. We see you, Amy Joe Baird. God bless you. Virgil Hobson. God bless you. Tammy Holt. God bless you. We see you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We see Yes, yes, yes. Glory be to God. We see you. Um, Craig and Shaunina Sermon, God bless you. We see you. Elder Rochelle Taylor, God bless you. Elders Levi and Dawn Jones, we see you. Glory be to God. That's right, that's right. Elder Tracy Carr, we see you. Pastor Robert Carr, we see you. Yes, Father, right now, thank you for watching over Pastor yes. Robert Carr as he travels. Yes. It is good to have him come home. Yes. And Lord God, he gets there safely. Plane, yes. train, automobile, yes. taxi, yes. Uber. Yes. Lord God, everything goes wonderful without any issues. We give yes. you praise for your angels with him. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. That's right. Glory be to God. Tammy Holt. Holt. She says she receives the prophetic utterances in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Prophetess Carolyn Moss. God bless you. Dwight Moss. We love you guys. Mary Bolden. Oh, we love you so much. Hallelujah. And we miss you so much too. We love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you. Yes. 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 Praise God. Uh-huh. Yes. That's right. Prophetess Erica Tucker. God bless you. That's right. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Uh, tag somebody in it. Amen. Tag somebody in it. Tag somebody in it. That's right. Tag somebody in it. Tag somebody in it. That's right. Tag somebody. Put your prayer requests on the timeline. Put it on the timeline. Yep. 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 Put your prayer requests on the timeline. I promise you we will get to it. Yep, love it, love it, love it and share it, love it and share it. Put it on the timeline. Honey, I want you to break every spirit of fear, generational curse. I want you to come against that. Every spirit of, uh, you know, anxiety and fear and depression. Come against all that stuff. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the word of God as your Hallelujah. covenant children, Lord. The word says that you have not given us the spirit of fear, mm. but of power and of love and of a sound mind. The word says that perfect love cast out all fear Glory because fear brings with it torment, Father. So in the name of Jesus, we rebuke the spirits of fear, Father, the spirits of trepidation, Lord, mm -hmm. the spirit of torment, mm -hmm. Lord, and the spirits that come with it, spirits of anxiety, Father, spirits of dreading mm. in Jesus' name, Lord. We will not be tormented, Father, or harassed in the name of Jesus. Mm. We thank you, Father, for the power of God, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the dunamis power. Lord we God. thank you, Lord, for your love. Father, for your agape love, we mm -hmm. receive your love this morning, Father. Mm -hmm. We receive your love this morning, Lord. Lord. To God. Lord, we receive the comfort of God this morning, Lord. Yes. We receive, Lord, you in our future, Father. Mm. We see you in our future. Glory we see God. you, Lord, in your love in our future, in every circumstance, in everything that we face, Father. You are there, Lord, because you are omnipresent and you are all-knowing and nothing surprises you, Lord. Yes. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for a sound sound mind uh, a sound mind you Lord have given God. us a sound mind let this mind be in us that was also in Christ Jesus Hallelujah. we have a sound a safe mind that reasons according to the word of God. We thank you, Lord, that by your grace, we pull down every stronghold yes. and we take every thought captive and we bring it into the obedience of the word of God in yes. Jesus name. We will not let our mind be a passive mind mm. or a lazy mind mm. and allow the devil to just play with our mind. We rebuke the thoughts of the devil and we send them back to the pits of hell by the grace of God and by faith. And we replace it and we declare the word of God over over our thoughts mm. in the name of Jesus we will not fear because we are in God in Jesus name the word says to fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God mm. I will strengthen you yes I will help you yes I will help you mm. oh glory to God mm. and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand of justice mm. that is Isaiah 41 10 mm. God says that I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I will not leave you helpless or alone. And I will sustain you because you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And you carry my name. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Mm. Um... Glory to God. This, this is breaking news. Last night. The International Criminal Court has put out an arrest warrant for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. 
which means that if he goes to one of these countries that are part of, and there's more than 120 countries that are part of this ICC, if he were to set foot in one of these countries, he could be taken into custody because of war crime. Everything is escalating. Everything is escalating. As it should and as it would, as I said, it would, in my word, saith the Lord, everything is escalating. Everything is going up a whole nother level. Everything is going to another realm. Everything is moving to another room. Everything is in uncharted territory, saith the Lord. And I have given great warning to my people. I have given my word to my people. And many do not even receive it. Some do. Some see it. Some. But many do not even receive it, saith the Lord. And this is why the masses shall be deceived, according to my word. This is why the masses shall be left behind according to my word, saith the Lord. Hear the word of 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 the Lord. As you continue to see the seas roaring, Know that there are principalities that are unleashing new strategic plans, but all of this is according to my word and all of it shall come to pass and must take place. And these principalities are over nations. And they are over regions, instructing and carrying out orders, and causing those under them to carry out orders, saith the Lord. Geopolitical ships, saith the Lord. Geopolitical ships, saith the Lord. Geopolitical ships, saith the Lord. Yamrosoto, that will make way for my word to be fulfilled. Glory be to God. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Woo! Mm. Listen. Let's pray for Israel. The word of God says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let's pray for Ukraine, Russia, because Ukraine now has the long range ballistic missiles and Russia has been bombarding Ukraine now with fire. Father, Lord God, these air, Lord, we know, we know wars and rumors of wars and see that you're not troubled and all these things must come to pass. Lord God, your grace, your grace, your grace. Your grace over the innocent people. Help the men and women and children, Lord God, that are just trying to live. Help them find refuge and safety. And Lord God, let your will be played out as we know it will be. We're praying your grace over the innocent people. We're praying your grace over those that are hungry, those that are homeless in these areas. We're praying your grace over those that are in need and that you would help them. And Father, those that don't know you, we're praying that you would send your ministering angels and you would send people to minister to them and reveal yourself to them. Reveal yourself to them. Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Now we also pray for our loved ones that are not born again. We pray for our friends and neighbors and loved ones and co-workers that don't know you. We pray, Lord God, salvation over them. 
Father, right now, wake them up in the midnight hour. Minister to them like nobody can. Say what nobody can. Do what nobody can do. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, reveal yourself to them. Let them be overwhelmed with your love and your grace in the name of Jesus. Let their eyes be open to see you. Let their ears be open to hear you. Let their hearts be ready to receive your love, your forgiveness, your grace, your mercy. Lord God, let them see you and every false idea of you, every false concept of you, let it fall to the ground. Let it no longer be a stronghold in their mind. Let it no longer be a thought process in their thinking. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your word become alive to them. Open their eyes to the spirit realm. And I declare over the people that can hear me at the sound of my voice, soul winner. Lord God, that we would be soul winners. That we would be bold. That we would walk in the power of your might. That we would operate in supernatural capability, laying on of hands, speaking the word of God, discerning, prophesying, Lord God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, working of miracles. Lord God, let your word be manifested in the name of Jesus. Let your remnant arise, connect them, Lord God, build them together. Let them connect the dots in the name of Jesus and connect together. Let people rise up that hunger and thirst for you, that hunger and thirst for the real you, who you really are. Lord God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for protecting schools today. Father, we come against an attack on children at the playground. We come against an attack on children at the playground. We come against an attack on schools even today in the name of Jesus. Every plot, let it be found out. And let it be found out in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. We are excited about church this Sunday. Join us in Power Word Christian Center. Beginning at 11 a.m. Facebook, YouTube. Father, right now, all of the people that give, we want to we want to give you an opportunity to give. You see the link in there. You can go to Empowering Word Christian Center. You can click on the link. We're asking that you would be obedient to the Lord. Whatever the Lord puts on your heart to give, tithe, offering, donation, you can give. Click on that link. And um, we are advancing the kingdom of God. We're going further into the series, The Antichrist Agenda, this Sunday. We're, re we're exposing false prophets and we're revealing that uh, Donald Trump is the, indeed, the Antichrist. Hear the word of the Lord. So, with that said, uh, it, it's just powerful. We've been on this series for over a year and a half. And there is a reason why we've been on this series for a year and a half. And I don't know if we'll preach anything else. <laughs> Based on the time that we're in right now. Glory be to God. We're breaking down in time biblical prophecy. Mary Bowden, could you pray for my granddaughter and her unborn son? Grace over Mary Bolden's granddaughter and unborn son. Grace in the name of Jesus. Let it be so right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God, for your love and your grace. Put your prayer requests on the timeline. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah.
Well, we love you so much. God loves you so much. Oh, he loves you, he loves you, and he's with you. Hear me. God loves you, and he's with you. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, this Sunday is a uh, Sunday best dress. Look forward to that. There will be no Friday morning prayer and prophetic service next Friday. Yes. It's the day after, after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We want yeah. you to enjoy your time with your family and just rest and enjoy the holiday. So we'll be back on a Friday in two weeks. Glory be to God. God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye.